All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel again. Uh, today, I thought I would do a quick little review of the short throw shifter that I put in. Um, if you guys watched my last video, if you haven't already, I'll put a link right up here. I installed a an ATQ uh, short throw shifter with Mitsubishi Diaqueen uh, tranny fluid, the 7585, and front and rear bushings. And the reason why I did it was because I'm trying to get rid of, or try to get uh, reduce the second gear lockout as much as possible and I think this definitely helps out a lot um, I thought I would do a little review on the shifter and hopefully you guys will be able to get a little bit of understanding of like really what it's like I will go ahead and show you guys before I go and take off I'm gonna go run around run around the block do a couple pulls throw it in some gears and like really show you guys what it's like but the easiest way for me to really be able to to describe the way it throws now it's kind of like a um, like an old school bolt action assault rifle like when you go and put a bullet in it's got like the the chamber where I don't I don't know guns but I don't know like like clicks in that's kind of what it feels like but this is with the ATQ so now this is first second third fourth fifth sixth I think like it there's like almost almost a delay kind of like when you go and like take it out of say out of second to put it back into first like where it stops you almost have to push it same thing with every gear you can hear how much louder it is you actually feel like you're getting into gear when it actually clicks as before it was kind of rubbery so I'm gonna drive around a block and uh, do a quick little review on this shifter alrighty guys I thought I would put you guys back over here on the side of the passenger window just to give you a little bit better view of like the whole, con uh, the whole cockpit of the, the car. Um, it seemed like it was a pretty decent shot whenever I went into the drag strip. I kind of like that shot. It actually lets you guys see out the windshield and see everything that I'm doing. Um, I also, one thing I would like to, to go and say, the putting it, putting it into reverse is so much easier than it was with the stock shifter. Before, you like you really had to like pull it over really really hard you don't have to do that anymore the short the throws are so short it's like I don't know, it's definitely night and day the first thing that you notice is that you you kind of have to like force it into gear now like it's it's a good feeling though because it like clicks it's almost more mechanical feeling than it did before it felt very rubberyish I'm just gonna go this way. It felt like you were, I don't know, shifting a bunch of rubber together. Now, it actually has like a nice click. Put this window up so you guys can hear me. Um, you actually get like a nice click now when you shift in the gears. The fifth gear is still kind of long. It's definitely a lot shorter than it was. But I mean, from fourth to fifth is always the longest gear. The only thing that I would say that I don't like about this is that it is that it is so notchy. Like I wish when you would actually go and push go into another gear, downshift or upshift, I wish you didn't really have to push it into gear as hard. I don't you you'd have to get it. It's really that's what I'm saying, like it's really hard to describe. But I wish you would be able, be able to just have that nice short throw but not have to have that extra little click like I'll go and I'll shift down to third like from fourth I'm in fourth right now and then I'll shift into third and then how it stops me and then I'm able to push in third I wish that it didn't make me stop like you I know that's being really really picky but when you daily drive it too and you have to actually like kind of force it into gear <laughs> that's kind of a I don't know, it's just a nitpick thing, I guess. But it's also really nice to have that because then you actually know that you initiated that gear. The pivot ball that actually makes it a short shifter, 
it's just the right height to where like this ball like I've seen some short shifters where this ball is like way down here like in inside the the shift boot where you can barely even hold on to it it's like perfect height because if it was any lower I wouldn't be able to get my hand really around this ball and actually be comfortable you know so they got that spot on rolling I'll roll into into first and then get on it I can't I'm not gonna be able to stop on the road up here but I'll get on it and you'll see like how long it actually takes me to get into gear and I'm actually forcing it trying to get it into gear that's what I don't like about it okay so I'm gonna go back into first make sure there's no cops above 6,000 RPM it will not do it without grinding I was able to get it in the second but I definitely grind it a little bit too and I even I even granny shifted it like held it there before I could actually wiggle it in I guess I'm just gonna have to deal with it I don't know wait and get the training mount too see if that'll make a difference I don't know 